What's going on, everyone? So the FYI page is finally up and running again. It did take a while, as in all day, but it's up and running. So I figured I'd analyze these characters, take a look at their strong attacks, their mags, and all that, and see what's up. Um, yeah, so first we're going to take a look at Ishin, then Aizen, then Zangetsu, just because that is the order of, you know, my excitement. I personally am hoping to get Zangetsu the most, but, you know, I'll, I'll take Aizen, I'll take Ishin. I'm sure they're all great characters. Um... Plus, Aizen's the strong tech recharge character, so I'm really excited about that. Anyway, speed character, uh, boosted Nad, hollow killer. Okay, I would I would have leaned towards. Well, no, hollow makes sense. All right, um, just because uh, the wrong card doesn't. Uh, but yeah, attack really high attack. Uh, although not nearly as tenth highest in the game. Still, I don't count Dikaku and I don't count Love. So let's say. Uh, eighth, eighth highest in the game. Yeah, I wouldn't count those. So, still, and Zangetsu's second strongest, uh, third strongest, my bad. Uh, but still, really good. Sprinter, long reach at 20. Bruiser at 50. Wow! 75% by himself. That is crazy. Is 50 the new norm? It would make sense that it's the new norm just because, uh, because uh, nat characters are kind of getting the short end of the stick lately, but dang, that is ridiculous. 50 Bruiser. Berserker at 30. Devastation at 40. Soul trait requirement, obviously, for his boosted trait. I do like this. We're getting to use 50 free orbs right there. Uh, <laughs> strong tech 3. They look like normal strong attacks. This one's full. He doesn't have a status ailments on anything that I can tell. Or that it says. Let's see what this says. Let's see what this says. Uh, 100, 100, 100, 120. First strong tax 120. Radius 475. So, all right, not. It's about normal, normal range. Uh, wow. Okay, strong attack two has less range. Or at least that's radius. Hmm. It makes me think it's gonna be. Shorter but harder? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait. There's two. Is it a two hit? No, this one doesn't have a radius. Huh. I wonder how that's going to work out. I've seen this before, but I can't remember with what character. So, yeah. Strong Attack 2 is probably going to be like a double radius kind of thing. Because, hmm. It's interesting there. Um, and then Strong Attack 3, 900. So not entirely a full screen, but really close. Probably similar to uh, to like the characters with charge attacks before they finish charging them. Um, so, yeah, still pretty impressive. 150, 2000 full screen special. I have a feeling we're not going to see non full screen specials anytime soon. Um, but still, Devastation, 40, doesn't really matter because people are probably going to chap in with that 50 Bruiser and 25 uh, Nad, boosted Nad. I think that makes him second highest damage-wise after, uh, well, no, we'll start to see everybody else's. Plus, there's more with 25 boosted. Um, okay, next, Aizen. Look at him in all of his glory. Uh, dang, dude. That looks so, that looks really cool. Um, Hollow Soul Reaper, Recharge, high, new highest SP in the game, I believe. Yep, there he is. Look at him. So shiny. Um, yeah, new highest SP in the game. Obviously, he's going to be a Recharge character. Probably not going to combat Toshiro just because of Toshiro's Soul Trait. Plus, he's a Hollow, so the um, killer effect is going to take effect as well. Still, though, really, really interesting. Um, let's go back here. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised we get yet another tech recharge build, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Soul Reaper Killer. That doesn't surprise me at all. Sprinter, Long Reach, Bruiser, Frenzy. Obviously, he's going to have Frenzy. Bruiser at 40. That's actually impressive. His attack's not as high as some of the recent characters that are SP characters. Um, but still, 40 Bruiser definitely going to help. Devastation and an Enhancer. The Enhancer... The enhancer is interesting because that means he has a boosted attack. Again, I haven't seen any of this. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, he's going to be melee. Not melee. He's just going to be like sword attack. It's not going to be ranged. Mm -hmm. Full screen special. Buffs the whole party and does damage. 40 second uh, cooldown though. Though if you max him out, it's a... Oh, wow. Okay. That's new. Because we don't have a character that does this yet. 
full screen radius. That's that's really cool. Anyway, uh, we don't have a character that does this yet. We don't have a character that's two hundred or that's uh, a boosted with enhancer and recharge time because that means that wow, that means he could potentially just be enhanced forever, doesn't it? Because enhancer increases his uh, his his time is probably going to be around 20 seconds which is what it would cost to recharge and it would probably cost around 18 or 19 if you fully uh recharge if you fully stack them on recharge time so we could potentially see an everlasting boosted character not only that but it'll boost the entire team for longer too unless the enhancer only applies to him really i should know this but i don't i don't know if it does um but still this could be like an everlasting boost for this guy. That's pretty crazy. And it does damage. Hmm. I do wonder what this is though. Full screen radius damage. Probably full screen Kurohitsugi. Um, boost. Something to do with the Hogeku. This, I have no idea. Um, and the full screen. The full screen uh, strong attack. Let's see if he has any 160 mag. Which I'm thinking it might be his boosted one. If he does, then GG, that's it. This character is just too strong. Um, does he have long reach? He does have long reach, okay. It's like, why is this radius on these a little bit better? But might be a really good reach on his uh, NAD, which would be pretty cool. Um, first strong attack. So, wow. The first strong attack has a crazy reach. Well, not full screen, but still really, really... Pretty good. Uh, really, really pretty good. Um, this one does not... Okay, 120 mag. I don't see if it was 160. It'd be all over. Uh, buff duration. This does, oh, okay. Buff duration. So that is 10 seconds. Enhancer probably doubles it at 20. So yeah, it's probably going to be a... Uh, either 10 or 15. I don't know. It's going to be... I think, I'm think i thinking he's just going to be able to boost forever. Which is pretty crazy. Radius on that is about what you expect for a... Uh, for a move like this. Um, and then the recharge, it's a full screen. A thousand means full screen, so definitely full screen. And then 120 damage. So it's just another full screen special or full screen normal attack, uh, strong attack. Um, except he has frenzy and the highest SP in the game. So, you know, make with that what you will. And then 150 mag on a special, 2000, so more than full screen radius. So that's good. So that's Sosuke. Dang, this, I can't believe we have a full. I can't believe he has recharge and this because that's like frenzy plus 33% twice because it's frenzy in addition to 33% not well no because that's attack right so never mind frenzy stays the same but attack it's that it's pretty much he, he basically has a 73% uh, bruiser you might as well call it that because that's essentially what you've got which it's pretty crazy and then for the main event white Sangetsu. I'm most excited about this character. So sword just looks awesome. The character in general just looks amazing. Um, I like that Zangetsu's, uh, like Tenzin Zangetsu's thing is like the water, you can tell it's kind of blue, but his is just straight up white. I do like that. Anyway, third highest attack in the game. Uh, re oh, Soul Reaper and Hollow. Normal attack up, 20%. Uh, SP is uh, less than desirable, but still good. Like, Good as far as NAD characters go. In fact, let me take a look here. Uh, nope, Sajin's SP is still higher, so his gun is the same. Okay, but after that, he seems to have the highest SP out of any NAD character. Um, except for Sajin. Gun and him are pretty much the same. Uh, you better have 50 Bruiser and be upset if he doesn't. Soul Reaper Killer, I, I do really like this. Yes! This is great. Bruiser at 50, so that's 70% on it by himself. Berserker at 40, so that's really going to help that. Um, Devastation, weak in defense. That special is going to be great then if it's weak in defense. Uh, long reach at 20. I'm glad he's going to be a good reach. If his NAD is, I know it can't be because he doesn't have two swords, even though he has two swords. It's a spoiler. Um, even though he doesn't have two swords, I'm sure his, his NAD isn't going to be as great as Shunsui's was. I know Shunsui's an SP character, but his NAD build is just awesome so i'm sure it's not going to be like that but i hope it's similar in that it's as enjoyable because he is an ad character again long reach 20 bruiser at 50 70 if you count his his own 
I'm glad this is a new norm. This makes me happy. Um, Devastation 40, weakened debilitator, and weakening on everything. I haven't seen this. What the heck is this? Why is it on there three times? I knew he had weakening on everything because somebody on, on the Discord told me, but I don't know what this is, but I can't wait to see is it. Oh my gosh. I think I know what this is. He doesn't have Frenzy, but that doesn't mean his attacks won't hit multiple times. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Okay. He doesn't have weakening on a special, which kind of sucks. But I think this strong attack is going to be like... You know how uh, Starks and uh, Ichigo's, full, full bring Ichigo's strong attack 3 is kind of like hits in two waves, each one hitting two or three times or whatever? Um, and Starks is the same way. I think his might hit three times, increasing the possibility of inflicting weakening because he doesn't have Frenzy. But uh, I like that it's ranged. It might be like one, two, and then get to a potential on the third one. Uh, I wonder what his special is. I guess we can't tell. Um, let's find out. He just looks so majestic. Uh, let's see. All right, 100, 100, 100, 120, as expected. Range is pretty much what you would expect from a 20 long reach. Oh. What is this? Status. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Magnification 60. You know what I think this is? I think this Zangetsu might copy Ichigo. Ah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Danga Ichigo's. Oops, I think he might copy Dangaichigo Strong Attack 1, um, where he just kind of swings his sword a bunch. That would be the only thing that would make sense for his Strong Attack 1 to uh, to do so little magnification. 60 is that it hits multiple times. That would also increase the possibility of inflicting weakening. So his Strong Attack 1 is... Uh, let me see if I can... Ichigo. Let me see if I can bring it up for you guys. I have all the videos. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I know this is kind of a longer video, and I apologize. But uh, I also apologize for the random whispering. Um, let's lower the volume here. Okay. That's strong attack three, strong attack two. That right there. That's what I meant. That right there, that's what I think is going to be probably crazier reach. But I think that is what's going to be his uh, yeah, his strong attack one. It would make sense because it, it would increase the chance of getting debilitator on it. And the 60 mag would make sense on that. I'd have to check out Danga Ichigo's magnification on that. But that's, you know, come later. Um, hmm. Yeah, see, because that's one, two. It hits twice. And the second one has range. So I'm thinking it is going to be like that. I'll keep this up. Oops. I hit plus. Um, I'll keep it up like that. And then I'll do this. Let me see. Let me look up. Let me look up Danga Ichigo's. Final Getsu Gatensho Ichigo. <laughs> Okay, normal attack. Okay, nope. Nope, his looks different. His strong attacks look different, so that might not be it. But I can't wait to see what it is because it hits. You can see here it's on there twice, which means it's probably going to hit multiple times. Um, well, that's weird. Oh, no, that's not what it is. What is this? Okay, so apparently, this is a strong attack too. But it's also hitting at 160. Okay, here's my, here's my, here's my theory. Because he has two strong attacks that have 8% recharge on them. That would increase the possibility of him inflicting debilitating weakening. Um, and would give you the opportunity to use him more. The first one doesn't have that much range. Yeah, the first one, in fact, it says none. The second one says it has a little bit of range, uh, about half the screen worth. Um, 
of course it's probably in radius around him, but it also takes eight seconds to recharge. The magnification is not that much. Of course, this character is probably going to be heavily chappied, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it's probably going to hit multiple times, which is what people want. His strong attack 3 is going to be 24 seconds, the standard magnification of 120, so standard strong attack 3. It also doesn't seem to have that big of a radius, but it seems to hit multiple times. Because here it is again, and here it is again. So his strong attack 3 is on here 3 times, which means it's going to be a strong attack 3 that we've kind of never seen before. Um, oh, it's okay, so here's what it is. His strong attack 3, it hits with a 120 mag at close range at 575. A little further range, full screen, it is a full screen strong attack, but it hits 60 mag, but it probably hits multiple times there too. And... Uh, in mid screen, so so I don't know why they listed this second, but it it's it hits in three different damage ranges, I guess. Uh, range number one is close range at 120 mag, then it's one, then it's 60 mag, but you know, it's both okay. So it's it's both 60 mag, but it's just the range is different. So it does hit multiple times. It probably pushes enemies away and hits them multiple times there. So yeah, that's gonna be a full screen strong attack that probably is going to hit a lot of times um which is good because he has weakening and then there's the 150 uh special which is you know it's what it is it's standard special but yeah that's the characters in a nutshell um uh, obviously a lot of this is probably going to be wrong i'm just kind of basing it off of the thing uh i can usually tell what's up but you know i've been wrong uh as for the character that I think is going to be the best in this, it's probably going to be Aizen. I'm hoping it's Tenza, but let's be real, it's probably Aizen. That CDR, that highest SP in the game, and the enhancer uh, boosted CDR combo is just going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, they, they, they made an Aizen worth getting <laughs> finally. <laughs> I mean, I got bombarded with full hollow, oh, not full hollow, but ah. Uh, uh, Hogyuku Aizen before, so let's hope it happens again so at least once. I'm really hoping for that white Zangetsu still, because um, I like the character. But uh, I will take Aizen. And Ishin, of course. Let's not forget Ishin, who we... Looks like it's been like 20 minutes since we talked about him, but... Yeah, I, I'm I'm not as hyped for him. I'm not gonna lie. But that boosted... Uh, that boosted Soul Trait's gonna come in handy if I get white, so... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, Ishin, but, you know, priorities. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this is a longer video. Hope you found it informative. I'm sure uh, in about three hours, my information is going to be thrown out the window when the uh, gameplay probably hits then. Who knows if it will. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will definitely be summoning for this. Will I be staying up for it? I don't know, probably, because I have homework that I should be doing even now, but I'm you know, not. So I might be doing it right before then. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the summon. Take care.